So yeah. it's from yeah. my perspective as a grader, and I will put I will have uh, some examples of best practices, and just don't do that practices. <laughs> um, first, the logistics. A lot of you just don't get like what PDF. Like just just do it as a PDF, <laughs> uh, because if you, ever, uh, if you ever grade, it is really annoying to get <laughs> doc files. When uh, you have to grade a lot of files, and then if you zip the files, I need to like download it and then open it and then go back to feedback. So if you can un uh, do it unzipped, that will be the best. And also, if you have attachment, especially with the last assignment where you had the uh, HTML, just convert it to PDF, then I can look at it because I couldn't access, I think, Carrie's thing because you didn't export the whole web page. I don't see any pictures. I can redo it. Okay, don't no problem. And that's how Moodle, you know, Moodle is just set up for PDFs. So. And then read the feedback from me. So a lot of the things is for future assignments. I say, okay, okay, you did it wrong, but I say, uh, what can you improve for future assignments? Because I see the same person doing the same things over and over, like, I already told you. So I don't want to put it in feedback all like over and over again. Uh, so if you have problems, like post it on forum. I always, always write it because I see people getting stuck with really easy thing and then not complete completing the assignment and I need to grade it so much lower when the fix is really, really easy. Um, usually it's with brass or some error. And uh, if you really get stuck and have errors, just describe it or not like, okay, I couldn't do it and that's it. Um, and if your results look weird, I have like here example, if I will have a don't practices, I will not include names. For do practices, I have names because I want you just to elevate the people that do good, good job. So uh, this is a result of converting it into raster, or like the path, like if you like, turn on the, the um, um, think, uh, critical thinking, you, you see that this is something is wrong, right? So uh, you post it on forum or do something with it and then like, okay, mm, I've done it and then go. Uh, so if you get any errors, if you get stuck, just post it on forum. The structure. Some of you are like awesome in that and I could learn from you with the introduction, methods, results, discussion, conclusion. Uh, some of you just uh, put a whole bunch of pictures or some descriptions and introduction is usually there with the conclusions this is the problem and this is actually um, like when you a discussion conclusion or the results how you analyze it and then put some uh, your critical thinking is there and sometimes it's just not it's like empty uh, so describe what you do. Sometimes you describe what you do, but okay, I uh, created this and this raster, period. Like, okay, I know you did that. There is a picture, but what do you see there? What are the patterns? What are the, why are they there? Some, uh, some thinking and some analyzing is necessary because like, it's not only about copying and pasting the comments and then putting the, um, the pictures there. Um, you can uh, you can also do it in the like you have the figure one and then you analyze what's on the figure one or you can do it in the text. Um, now the problems with figures it's a lot because uh, first always number the figures and describe it because if you have figure one nothing else like I don't even know if you know what what's on the figure like this is like the we're we're think of. Don't use, uh, this is from my perspective, don't use appendixes and like stack all the figures because then you put the text and I need to like look if it's really this figure and usually what happens, you just don't describe each figure, you just put something in the text, oh I did this wonderful thing and here are the figures and it doesn't relate when you put a figure and then description and the figure and then description or like analyzing the results. Uh, screenshots. This is pr usually most of my nightmares are con connected with the screenshots. So use them only with ne in necessary. Of course, if you have a map and you don't want to export this as PNG, just put a screenshot of the map. This is not considered a screenshot for me. This is a map. That's fine. But the screenshots of the console, there are good if you have any problems, errors, or the results are directly in the console. But if you just executed an, a command, uh, it's not necessary to show me that you executed it in the console. I see it from the result that you have executed it. Um, 
if you have errors, problems, concerns from the console, sure. But also uh, for screenshots, uh, our figures. Write down what is there and describe why did you put it there. Um, so make the screenshots and figures big enough so I can read them. Because if you put screenshot and I can't see anything, from it, it's like totally, totally pointless. Sorry if I'm being harsh, but just I was grading a lot. Um, if you are including statistics, also like paste the text of a lot of statistics and then don't even interpret them. Like, why are they there? Okay, you can execute the comment uh, R univar. Good for you, but like, why did you do it? And why are the, what, what do the statistics tell you? Um, maps. Um, I'm a, have a master's in cartography, right? So sometimes I'm like, oh, my spine is like moving because usually the legend is something that is actually um, really important in the map because it's what allows me to read it, what's on the map. And just FYI, I know we are working on the same, um, on the same uh, terrain and I know what's the scale and some, but if you do it just for future in any of your documents, uh, just the scale is essential for a map because otherwise uh, here I just don't, there is just incidents when someone would put scale and I say like, yes, I like you. But uh, so I'm not like uh, get the po point, lo uh, less points because you didn't put a scale, but it's good to know for future for you. And uh, use of the proper color, color table. I have here example of the same result with a different color table. Which one can you better interpret, mm. right? And it's it's visible, it's the same comment. So um, the color table is usually, are usually essential for the cartographic point of view. And here is the same, like not even about read, uh, read, uh, readability, read, how easy it is to read the map. Uh, but uh, how the color makes sense. So here is the same map. First, uh, this is just a wrong description. Someone just did it uh, not correctly. And here is the one that actually, what, what makes more sense? This is ground, this is vegetation, these are the buildings. This is ground, it's purple. Uh, so like, uh, what makes sense from the reader pro point of view? That's just also for the future for you. How do you do maps? Um, handling, handling grass. Some of you are really familiar with grass and I see it. Some of you are totally new and I wanted to include some tips. Execute, uh, and sometimes I put it in, in your feedback because I see you struggle with it. Execute one comment and, uh, command and the time and immediately look at the result. So you know what certain comments produce because if you just copy and paste everything what's in the assignment and then try to uh, like juggle through all the layers, you don't really know which comment did what. And then you all, uh, there are examples when someone, like I said, um, I showed before, just um, put a description under the figure. It was not the layer at all because it was just a confusion between what you uh, produce from each comment. And if you don't understand what's in the comment, it's just for you like Chinese. Uh, just try to do, um, look at the GUI or at the help. If you point, if you even type uh, the comment and then grass in Google, it will be the first result, uh, the help. Uh, but uh, what, how I learned, I was just executing it through GUI. So you type the comment, for example, R map calc, because this is the most problematic thing because the expression, there's some problem with expression. You've tried to execute it, it's nothing there. So it's easier to go with GUI to detect, like to not have typos, for example, in the uh, map calc. So you type the command, uh, click enter twice, and you see, uh, you click like, what is the certain flag? What does it mean? Uh, what are the options, what are the var variables, and then you either execute it and or you understand what's actually in the command and you don't mindlessly copy paste and then it's easier for you to interpret the results because you know, oh, I put this variable there and it influenced my result in this way. Um, so and This is useful for your paper as well. 
So not, not just for the homework, but keep this in mind when working on your paper, final paper. So this is the result. I was sure that this person just did ex copy paste, executed everything, and they tried to uh, interpret it. So this is not a slope map. This is a slope map, and this is not a curvature map, right? So someone just get lost in the layers that they produce. I have, um, I don't know if the questions for you will be uh, for now, but I have also the best practices. How do I do it? F11. Oh, it's after the time. I don't want to keep you here. So, okay. Use the figures that are appropriate size. Here I have like the small size figures on one of the reports. And I have, I think, another example of that. Uh, it's not good either for me for uh, reading it or for interpretation, if you're trying to interpret it. Uh, like you can see anything from that, right? So the, the figures and the screenshots needs to be appropriate um, size. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, so this is one of the assignments with um, that uh, is, um, person that did the assignment knows who is the person. It's just assignment that uh, consists of the screenshots that are unread unreadable and no description at all. And there is 17 pages of that. <laughs> and also there are screenshots of like my uh, assignment uh, page. Like I know what's in the assignment page. And I, I understand I did that, but um, this words would be appreciated. So this is the don'ts practice. I do not say who did that, but the person knows. Like that. Uh, so yeah. And also this is the screenshot of the same map putting all the time and it's just not, uh, okay, that makes sense. Sorry, but I needed to do that. Uh, now I have the best practices from most of the homeworks. Um, so some uh, some of you think that the the more you write, the better. And I have like 16, 12 pages. Uh, some of the people write 12 pages and it's great. But uh, I wanted to show, is it this one? No, this is not this one. This is a cool one uh, from uh, Kerry with the reconstruction of um, the 3D models, how she did more than uh, was necessary. She tried all, um, all sorts of stuff and then wrote what are the problems and like here uh, with the critical thinking why is that so I like this one from the 3d modeling and I don't think I have um, I think it was Missy that did just two pages for the 3d assignment and she got an A like two pages it was enough because she included everything there um, I have Rebecca's from, so see, like the structure, introduction, methods, It's results, easier to read and compare <laughs> with um, structure. Uh, so this is the, this is also the one, okay, there is a, it's a really great assignment, but there is a problem here. See, uh, the, this is the bottom, like the red thing, it's the ground, and somehow Rebecca flipped it, and uh, it showed everything upside down, but then she somehow uh, fixed it and did that, uh, like um, what I assume she didn't figure out what was wrong, did it again, and then I, um, uh, I graded it pretty high because you still fixed it. There was another person that did the same and didn't even realize that something is wrong. So it's good to, like, when you do something wrong, realize it, redo it. But um, I think you didn't, you, you didn't even... I did that one so many times. Yeah, so <laughs> you included that as like, I detected it. You did something <laughs> wrong and then you fixed it and you didn't even um, try to hide that. <laughs> I still didn't even... Yeah, the feedback was like, yeah. Yep, there is nothing you can hide from me. Um, this is um, uh, this is the person that does uh, the reports that my comments. I'm like, I don't have anything to comment. Like everything is there. Uh, like, okay, great report, and usually over uh, A plus. Uh, so also, I wanted to show like how uh, Michael is a distance education student, and he always shows his work. 
detects like what is the problem and see how he um, this is like a pretty long report but I know exactly what he's doing and when he uh, like picks uh, whatever it makes sense it's not uh, random and uh, here is the uh, the volume calculation and oh this is what I wanted to show you he he figured out uh, like how so he uh, I don't know if he had problems with detecting the uh, ball effect I don't think he did but he wanted to show it more so he did the profile which was not in the assignment at all but see how it's right now obvious which uh, software produces bigger ball effect here we did it just using the um, color table but uh, because he did that, I'm thinking that I would just include it in the assignment, assignment. Yeah, because, it. yeah, because, and he was like, if someone puts a tip for me, I uh, immediately like grade it up because I was like, thank you. Uh, so this is, uh, this is his assignment. Um, I also wanted to show, I think it's Sabina's that did the extra work and uh, Sabina also always uh, did uh, always does extra work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but does a great introduction and methods and it's not only methods like oh I will point out what I did with the bullet points it's just uh, actually what is done through each comment or through each uh, section of the uh, of the assignment um, so here like everything is commented and also she does a lot of um, uh, descriptions of the figures so I know that she understands what's on the figure and what she produced and uh, I wanted to show how great uh, the visual it's not like necessary to do the visualizations like that but you know I check the reports like it just looks nice it's just so pretty <laughs> and here it, you see the uh, in this um, example you see that the vegetation is actually detected because you do it in 3d and you see it based on the DSM oh and you can already guess that this was the one that I put the as an example of the good color table and also here the good color table and uh, also like if you put the legend like one two three it's good to tell like what's one what's two what's three I know it because like I was the one or I read the assignment description or I even uh, wrote it but uh, if not it's like useful and this is the optional work I didn't do very much for it, but I tried. Yeah. Yeah. I so it's idea. like the op it's what you yeah, do absolutely. for optional yeah. work. So yeah, yeah. this and I, I, I still need to say one thing. Okay. Yeah. So if you're okay, uh, um, what I am carry the show carry. Yeah, I did show carries and do what I want to show. What did he do so well? Oh. Well, I can show it because it's. No, not we loading. can uh, look at it later. You know, we still have quite a few um, Yeah, I wanted to show best practices from each assignment, but. Uh, and and it's a good lesson for the papers. And uh, we will start uh, in the next uh, like assignment on Thursday with questions for you, uh, like what what is actually your perspective on the homeworks and of even my. Feedback as well, so we'll get it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs>